What's going on everyone? This is Zeno here, and I'm making another Brutus's Let's Sprinkler build. Quick heads up, if you watched any of my other YouTube videos, the Lassacerate Assassin? The Assassinate? The Lassassin? Yeah, it sucked. Like, Lacerate needs AoE, so Slayer is probably best. It also needs attack speed because you get locked in place really bad. The skill itself is still a good skill. I just think it needs a lot to make it work. I tried to salvage it by making Spectral Throw and everything was all janky with this chest piece I was using. I don't want to talk about it. Sad face. Uh, another build I tried out, the Miss Black Ice. It would work. It's just energy shields to rip. And I also deleted my Flicker Strike Brutus' Lead Sprinkler build. Flicker itself is really, really risky and hardcore. It dealt a ton of damage, but I felt like my health was being like this, so I decided to scrap that too. However, Twitch chat, which is right here, say hi everyone, yay! These guys here, they want me to make a Brutus' Lead Sprinkler build, so I'm going to. Uh, they want me to play Spectral Throw with it, and I think that's a pretty good idea. Um, what could we use? What class? We did a Raider last time, and for Spectral Throw we could try something new, like maybe a Blind Saboteur. <laughs> JK, we're not gonna do that. Let's see what we got here, though. Um, Elementalist works. Anything really works. You can make any of these work. I did not try Ascendant. Other people were saying Ascendant's good, and if I were to play it, I would go Elementalist. Or maybe I would go into... What's Chieftain? Ignite Chance is bad, we use Ellie Focus. Uh, damage while you have a totem. Regenerate 2% max life while you have a totem. Gain 50%. That's really bad. The 40 strength is super good. That's why I'm considering trying one of these. Um, we could do something else too. Because the 40 strength is really good, if we go Ascendant, we might be able to pull off something a little fancy here. Because if I go Elementalist and Raider, and then I just say, screw it, give me your damn int... I mean, give me your damn strength. That's, that is a good amount of strength right there. Or I could just pick up another skill point as my last two. Honestly, like 40 strength is a lot and then 20 strength, 20 int. That could help me out with all of my int problems and or dex problems. Someone says dead eye. Dead eye for spectral throw, you get pierce, which is useless. Prod speed, which is okay. Projectiles gain damage as they travel further, dealing up to 50% increased damage to targets, which is whatever. Fire additional prod is okay. I'd rather keep up frenzy charges on bosses and have onslaught at full frenzy charges, personally. That's just me. Oscar's like intentionally like dodging the camera. He's like, don't put me on that camera, dude. What did I do to deserve this camera? I didn't sign up for this. Oscar, why are you so chill chill? Psst, psst. Okay. Anyways, we could do this variant. Reduce Reflect Damage Taken is really good and 6 pen. It's not as good as actual Elementalist pen. Uh, if we play Juggernaut, what do we get? Movement Speed Solid Accuracy? Obscurantus Accuracy Brutus Let's Sprinkler? No, that's not good. Double uh, Armor is pretty bad. Unless you go Death's Oath, which now it's pretty good because it does get 50 all attributes. Uh... It's okay. Meh. Berserker. I mean, Chieftain is pretty bad because we use Elemental Focus. This node is completely useless. And because this node gates two other nodes, it's really hard. Like, every single build at a minimum picks up this node as Chieftain. And because of that, it makes Chieftain really bad. Like, it's an interesting idea, GGG, but the biggest problem behind this node is, let's count together. You got one, two, three, which means you would have to pick this up. There's no way you could play a Chieftain without picking up this node, and this node is garbage since they nerfed Ignite. Feels Chieftain, man. Go Inquisitor and go Crit. Okay, so that would work. We wouldn't have to play Spectral Throw then. All right, so if we go Crit Inquisitor, how can we pull this off where you're getting both Crit and Strength? Like I said, it's better to just go Elemental Focus and a lot of Strength. I said that off uh, off YouTube video as a heads up. Uh, YouTube, if you get 1,500 Strength, it is the equivalent of... Uh, I guess we could show this. Why not? Um, Brutus's Lead Sprinkler gives you 4 to 7 Fire Damage to Attacks. And if you are running Zoff's Blood, which is true endgame neck... 
uh, Emperor's Mastery Jewel, which is even more expensive than Zolf's Blood, depending on the league. And then you would run Alvarin's Warpath, which is cheap, cheap. You would get 25% increased strength. So with 1,500 strength, you would get 150 because it's per 10, and you multiply that by 4, which ends up being 600. Uh, that is not a 4. And then you would also multiply it by 7. And that's your two minimum and then top damage. So we're going to add the two together, divide it by two for our average damage, and then multiply it by your tax per second, which is 1.44 listed here. And that would give us with 1,500 strength. And before AOF, around 1,200 elemental, P, uh, elemental DPS with this weapon. It's pretty insane. It's more than Oro Sacrifice. That's like a lot more than or that's 1.5 times oro sacrifice and in then when this gets converted it's like 1300 in total if you use because you have Zoff's blood so the problem with this is how are you going to get that much strength as an inquisitor going crit you feel like you're spending all of your nodes going out of your way for crit multi and crit chance and you'd probably get a thousand strength and it'd still be insane because you're an inquisitor but you wouldn't be very defensive and you would lose out on a lot of hp so for that reason i'm going to skip out on, on inquis and they want me to play special throw, so that's still up in the air. I could, if you guys want to hear like the most wacky build idea I've ever had, it should work for this build, but it's going to be really, really, really out there. So let's start it off with, I'm using Shaper's Gloves and Joffrey Sanctuary. That is how this build is going to work. The next thing I'm going to say is it is a hybrid build, both life, energy shield, and mana. And mana. So let's take a look at what these do. Joffrey's uh, Sanctuary. Here it is. Joffrey's Sanctuary gives you 70 life, a decent amount of ES, and a decent amount of armor, which screams Templar. Like, that's the, the theme behind this. And you get all res, and you get plus two maximum ES per five strength. <clears throat> because we're stacking strength here, we are now getting energy shield. It does not have strength on it itself, so for that purpose, it's sad face. Shaper's gloves, which I should be able to buy in hardcore, hopefully not for much, um, you get the... Now strength, when you unlock it, does the same thing that int does. So you get 2 mana per 5 strength, and you also get 2% increased energy shield per 10 strength. So what this does is you're getting mana and ES as if strength plays as int, and you're getting flat ES here for getting strength. And we're stacking strength to deal damage. Now strength gives life by default, and now on top of that it's going to give mana and ES percent, and flat ES. Two mana per five strength, uh, per four strength, excuse me. Yes, you're right. Two mana per four strength. Uh, with that said, um, if you, we stack strength, we get flat HP and we get energy shield. And because we get mana, we can go radiant faith. And radiant faith makes it so mana gives us flat energy shield which will then scale from strength and into like because of Shaper's Gloves. So, yes. This is how we can play this build. It's going to be a really, really janky hybrid build, and it will be freaking hilarious to see how much HP, ES, and um, mana we would have playing this. Let's see. We would have to, like... Would I go out of my way more for ES or more for a lot? I just get strength. That's the name of the game is strength. Avoid everything else. We're just getting strength. We'd go Radiant Faith for sure. Time you need is really good for regenerating so we could get Zealot's Oath. Block chance is solid because we would use Lycosidae Elemental Overload. Attack speed. Uh, we're not going Blood Magic. So Auras. We only would run two Auras, so that's not good. Conduit. That's really bad. So we'd go this route. It would work. It's just really, really hard to pull off. So let's try this out. Uh, strength. <laughs> At least it makes sense. Uh, mana. Mana elemental damage is really good. Um, all right. Remember, we want strength. Well, what skill would we even use? Let's think of a skill as a Templar. What would we use? 
Oh man, active skill gym. Do I have to play Spectral Throw, guys? I could always play old Ice Crash. It would be Fire Crash, but we could always play old Ice Crash. Moan Strike has been done so many times with the skill, it's not even that good. Sunder. Freaking Sunder. Just another Sunder build. Completely different than anything else. Infernal Blow is Resident Sleeper. Static Strike is Dan's Game, Resident Sleeper. Cleave doesn't work. Enemy Guardian doesn't work. We could always go War Chief and snooze fest it up as a, you know, standing back as a totem uh, guardian. Would be interesting. Ground Slam would work, but the, the skill itself is fundamentally not as strong as some other things. Ice Crash would work. Infernal Blow would work, but it'd be really boring. At least in my opinion. Uh, Reckoning is good. Yeah, Sunder is looking pretty good. Wild Strike worked. I already did that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Reef doesn't work. Feels bad. Last rate doesn't work. Feels bad. Frost Blades? So it'd be like Fire Blades? I mean, that's weird. Frost Blades can be used with a mace. Even though it's a blade, it just says melee weapon. We already tried flicker, it was really janky. Dual strike? Oh. How do we play dual strike? We'd have to have two Brutuses? How does that work? I know the damage is localized now, and it is absolutely not. I think it would hit like a freaking freight train, honestly. But it's not global anymore. Charge dash? Pass. I want to try this guardian. Maybe we'll stick with the guardian. Uh... Yeah, 1k fire hit with each weapon. But I think dual strike would be like the ultimate boss killer. But I guess we can make it work too because... Well, we want to get strength in our offhand, but we don't get that anyways with Lyco. But we'd have to get accuracy, and going accuracy sucks. So, dual strike, I think, would be best reserved for a crit build. If well, how much is are they even? I will go. I could try out dual strike with these only, but I wouldn't play the shapers version of it. Let's see. These things are so expensive. If they're even any up. Uh, yeah, I mean, I have one of them. 3x, 4x, yeah, this thing is 14x. Hasn't been up in two months, though, so. This, this idea? Oh, man. The more I think about it, the more hipster it is. It very well can work. It's just going to be really, really odd. Leap slam? No. How did I get one? I bought it. Am I really going to do this as a Guardian? I mean, I've made Guardian work all league. Why stop now? Okay. Go like this. Can we, should we just go on Ancestral War Chief Totem? I mean, is there anything wrong with trying out War Chief? I've never even played the thing. Okay, that's good. Get that. I want the hybrid ones. War Chief Totem is resident sleeper, according to Twitch chat. What do you think, YouTube? <sighs> Feels bad. No War Chief. Yeah, I'm already not liking Guardian. Just because it's like, what skill do I use? And that's how I already feel with Brutus' Let's Sprinkler. Before I choose the Ascendancy, let's choose a skill for sure. Alright, we gotta do a lot of thinking here. Starting from the top. Not usable, not usable. Resident Sleeper. Cleave doesn't work. Dominating Blow is just ultimate meme. Earthquake? I mean... Did they wreck this skill to the point where it's unusable? 
Or is it just people hating on it for the sake of hating on it? It'd be weird for bossing. Ice Crash would always work. We know that. Uh, Inferno Blow would work. Leap Slam? Leap Slam. So how would you play this as Leap Slam? EQ is so good, they're just baby raging. Let's see. Use SRS. SRS would not work with this Arfus. It has to be an attack. Elemental hit and dominating blow are good choices. Oh, I see we have the Maleficent in chat. Interesting. Hmm, Static Strike. With the new support gem, that'd be really good. The 3.1 one. Sunder! Alright, is this just like War Chief, everyone? I haven't played it yet this league, and it is super meta. It's like the most meta melee skill other than War Chief. Sweep requires a two handed melee weapon. A vigilant meme. Hits can't be evaded, which means we don't have to use Lycosa Day, everyone. All right, so bronze chest would be good. You guys want me to do leap slam? Well, I could play it right away. So we could try leap slam. Um, what would we play it as though? I would like to get a decent amount of AOE. Not guardian. Crit leap slam? God, no. This class is out. This is a really good class. Uh, jug? Jug. No jug. He's good for fizz. Gladiator, he's good for Fizz too. Champion does give melee damage while you have Fortify. Is Champion any good? Not really, it's all damage after you hit. Yeah, Slayer is really good with this skill. Slayer would be really solid, except that's physical damage. We know it's 20% more damage if you've killed recently, that's global damage. And then I wouldn't get that. I would get Leech. So Slayer's okay. Raider's good. This isn't that good, no. <laughs> yeah, buddy. You can't use Sweep with a one-hander. How would this work? So movement skills cost no mana. Increase attack speed if you use a movement skill recently. And then this is good for Mind Over Matter. And then this is Charges. And then we'd go dodge. So Trickster Leap Slam Brutus's Lead Sprinkler. Is that plausible? Would I go Mind Over Matter with it? I don't use Essence Worm. I would just get like one reserve going. I'd go like Enfeeble Aura or something. That's it. I Hell, I'd even go Blood Magic. You know, I can't go Blood Magic. You're Mind Over Matter. Like, the strength would suck. No, it wouldn't. Like, look right here, dude. If I put a strength, a uh, dexter strength in here, inertia, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like, it's fine. And you, you can convert and then just convert. Yeah. Trickster would, I haven't played a trickster yet this league. Brutus's let's, yo. Yo, could we, t hold up. Dun 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 plus one zombies plus one maximum number of zombies per three hundred strength with one hundred one thousand or more strength two percent of damage dealt by your zombies is leached to you as life. Minions have twenty percent increased minion life. Your strength is added to your minions. <laughs> we can try this and suddenly you can't use scourge we're using brutus's lead sprinkler sprinkler mancer is now a thing how much is the baron though is it super expensive the baron close helmet 50c on the cheap end, and there's nobody online. There's a ton of the fuckers, though. My goodness. So this is going to be needed. It's level 26, so you can put them both on at the same time. Does anyone have a Baron in Hardcore? I might be willing to, to borrow. That'd be great. 
And sorry, also gets okay. So what would we do if we were a Brutus's lead sprinkler <laughs> necromancer? This is actually pretty good. This is pretty good. Okay, let's see. Increase skill effect duration. Your offering skills also affect you. Oh my god. That is so good. That is so good. Like, what is that? Minions deal damage. Desecrate two additional corpses. 40% increased damage for per consumed corpse. Attack speed for each corpse consumed. Are there any good specters that I should use with this? I mean, this is more zombie, so we definitely get zombie. Oh, shit. And for every zombie I get out, I get reduced physical damage taken. This is probably really good. Cast one damage taken, bone offering. And if you go BLS Baron Joffrey Shaper Glove, it would probably work. I don't know what main skill I would use. That's a good question. Uh, or is grant attack and cast speed to you and your allies is really good damage and you and your allies both have auras affected by yours have 20% increased all res. That's insane. And yeah, we don't care about chaos. So it's either spirit eater or we juice up our specters. Does it say my minions get my strength? Let's see this thing again. Yeah, it does. So we would probably go Spectre. Just to... This is a really interesting build. I could do Dominating Blow. I really could do Dominating Blow with this. Now suddenly Dominating Blow is not shit. <laughs> Are we really gonna do Dominating Blow? Like, I'll kill things with Dominating Blow legitimately. I'll just go... Pfft. I'm using BLS freaking... I mean, it would work. It would work. That's the crazy thing. We'd have specters, zombies, and Dom Blow. Okay, fuck it. Dominating Blow. Where's the memester now? The Maleficence actually gets the win. The neutral evil gets the win, everybody. Yeah, they get all that extra strength and minion life. Let's try it out. I just need the Baron. That's the one thing I would need. All right, let's spec this. Necro skill gives duration. Correct. Correct. All right, so this would be... This is going to be a build. We come out this way and convert. And we're going HP based. Uh, we need plus ones. No, they don't need any extra minion life. Oh, my foot is numb from the way I was sitting. Okay, we go this way, we'll get life. Do I need mine over matter? No. Okay, that converts all this. All right, we can get minion damage. Okay, come here, get the strength. Strength is like the most important stat in the entirety of this build. Mm, there is strength there and damage. Life, strength. I'd go this way. Go like that, put it the uh, jewel to convert there. Get this, that's strength. Um, do I come down this way? Is there any other minion nodes? Yeah, we have this guy and this guy to pick up. Uh, which means I could just go this way. And maybe should I cross down here instead? Yeah, we'll do that. And then pull out of this and pull out of that, which means I don't have to use a conversion jewel now. That's quite good. That is really, really good for this build, which means we go this way and get this, yeah? Could we convert all of that? Is there any reason to go this way? Is there enough int to really justify converting this? So we have one. I'm not sure if this one's affected by it. No, if this was, that'd be great, but it's not. See, this one doesn't get that, but this one gets this. Because they're both on the right side, this should be technically like on the left. That would make more sense for that converting that. And then it doesn't reach this, so I think I'm going to avoid this plus one zombie there. But we can get plus one scepter, or plus one specter. Is that efficient at all? In terms of conversion, I can convert one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But what is the purpose of doing all that? It's like not that good 
Yeah, that's really not that good. Plus one Spectre is pretty important though if I'm going to go the Spectre node. But it's in Baghdad. That's my problem with that node. It's in the middle of nowhere. You say yes because there's life in all res. Res is no problem to get. Then I'm going to have to convert some kind of way. Damage. Would this solve mana problems? Dominating blue has like insane mana problems. It does get those two. So it's like, go this way, drop these, go like that, drop this. Still pretty janky. I don't like it. If this affected this, I'd be so down. Like, why doesn't it? Right, let's see how much we got here. One, two, three. This is the same thing. Five, six, seven. It's really not that good. I'd rather just... Mm, I don't know how to make this not shit and not cost me too much strength. I don't know. Let's keep going down. We'll get that, maybe. This way instead now that I think about it. Go like that and that. The only way for me to effectively get in here is coming straight down. This is worth it, which means this is worth it, which means everything here does not make sense. And it makes me very sad to say that. <laughs> like, I could just do this. It's like, what do I do? Go with this. There's a lot of strength in here. Let's drop this. No. Could I come out this way? And then drop this? Nope. Maybe. Hmm. What is Twitch saying? Do you guys think Chieftain needs better identity for self cast flame spellcaster? Like having 50% more mana reduced cost of for fire skills instead of doing 10% global? It's a good question, Regulus. My biggest problem with Chieftain, as I said earlier, is that no matter what Chieftain build you play, you have to get this node. You are stuck getting this node because even if you were to try and ignore it, you get one, two, three, and this would be your Uber Lab, which means in every build, you need to pick up one of these. Like, so you're pretty much stuck always going one, two, and then choosing what you want is your last three. I mean, your last two. And Ignite has been nerfed just because they changed ailments in general. Elemental focus ends up being better in most cases. So it's like, who cares? And that's Chieftain's biggest problem. His second biggest problem is he dies to reflect. Yeah, I made that duelist vid a while ago. What's up, IGN Nicholas? Take away specters, yeah. Let's deny specters, because I'm not going specters. And let's go with this instead then, I guess. We'll still go zombies. Zombies dominating blow. Maybe if I had specters that gave charges to my minions, I'd consider it. Is there an efficient way for me to mess with this? Is there any other plus one zombies I could get? Like, this one's pretty close, but yeah, meh. Pretty happy with what we have right now, honestly. We got plus one here, plus one here and here and then here. So that's four and then strength. So really I just need to keep picking up strength. It's the only thing that matters anymore with the rest of this build. So let's go this way. And it makes this three. This is also three. Okay. Which means that. There's 20 more strength. And then maybe something like this. That's 127 points. So maybe not that last part. 116 points. Uh, yeah, we would use minion speed on zombies. Scourge in your offhand. Why would I do that instead of like Hosa Day? So we have 404 strength with 222 in. Let's see how much we convert here. We have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. 90 of the int gets converted. So that drops us down to like 
132 and adds us uh, 114, right? 114. So that'll be 518 because of the joule. I don't think we're converting anything else. This pathing though needs to be adjusted. That has to go. This goes back in. Oh man, this is going to be one of the wackiest builds I've ever played. Let's hope we can make it work. I'm just going to skip out on Lava Lash probably because it's... I'm playing down below. Okay, am I saving a point by doing this? One, two, I save one dex point. So I go more strength than I do dex. Which means we go like this. One, two three and then one two three four so i saved no i didn't save a point i just got two extra strength uh templar yes right here i got 30 strength well said uh, If I use Scourge in my offhand, I will get bonus damage, but I lose accuracy, which causes me to lose Dom Blow. Like, accuracy is so important. It's not like I'm specking accuracy here. I'm specking strength. So, it would be what? Dominating Blow, Melee Splash. Uh, dominating Blow, Melee Splash. What else would we use? Wed. Increased Duration. Yeah, and Scourge will also attack with Dominating Blow. I'm next to RT, but I'd rather Elemental Overload for the extra damage. So if I, we're not going Ruthless, that's physical. If I go RT, we're focusing more on the minion damage, then I guess we're gonna have so many fucking minions, it's not even gonna matter and our zombies are gonna be pretty freaking strong. Like, it's not even going to matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's Dom Blow for sure, Melee Splash for sure, Increased Duration. And those are like the most important ones. And I'm going to need to get this kill, so I'm going to need to deal enough damage. So what are we going to use? Minion damage won't help me. It'll help them. Ruthless is melee damage every third hit. Sorry, I thought Ruthless was physical. But still requires me to do three Dom Blows, and then we are using multi strikes, so we'll probably do faster attacks. Right? And now we're, we're focusing more on buffing the minion than my own damage. It's not bad, it's not bad. Probably need calling to make sure. Let's read how dominating blow works. I have never played this skill before, so I'm not gonna talk out my ass. Dominating blow, Huey. Minions will get boost, boosted stuns too. Okay, that's good to know. It's got great base damage. Base duration is 20 seconds, which is why we uh, deal increased damage in it. It's got 25% less minion damage. It's pretty hefty. Dominated monsters, magic, blue named, and rare blue named monsters can be made into minions using this skill. So. But unique monsters cannot. Rare and magical monsters that are dominated will keep the special attributes, including auras, which will be applied to players and allies. It's great. Any support gem that uh, to both that can apply to both attack and as well as minion will function in both attack made by dominating blow as well as the minions who are dominated as a real result for the attack. So fire pen would not work for them. I would have to find a way to scale my damage that would scale their damage and all my damage is pure fire. It is a way for me to dominate though and it would work very well with the Baron. See, my problem with Dominating Blow is I'd rather just have zombies and deal damage myself and just have all these freaking zombies. I'd rather not use Dominating Blow. I'd rather just use Brutus' Lead Sprinkler for myself. Because now that I have to use all these support gems for Dominating Blow, 
I feel like it's going to take away from the Brutus's lead sprinkler. Added fire is good. Maim's not good. We're going fire damage. And added fire wouldn't do shit for my main attack. You're right. Honestly, I don't think it works. This is where the build gets stuff. Yeah, I think zom zombies with myself would be better than going out of my way to be hipster and use dominating blow. Just, this is the actuality of it. Like, I can deal enough damage to make my dominating blow happen. And all those minions I make will get all that extra strength and all the auras. But however, I feel like using Brutus's Lead Sprinkler, you're better off just using something else. Or... I don't know. And whatever, so I could focus on dealing damage for myself and whatever dominating minions is just a nice bonus. Pretty sure 99.999% chance dominating blow is still bugged. All right, let's do that. Because if it's bugged, I'm definitely not playing it. Dominating blow, bugged, PoE. I know it was bugged for a while. This is December 18th, 2014, 2016. Doesn't seem... Maybe? Yeah, skip, skip. Okay, so that's out. The whole dominating blow idea, it was a good idea, Twitch. I just don't think in actuality it's going to do anything amazing. Let's be realistic with this. Let's be realistic here. There was a forum post from October. Oh, I missed it. Hmm. The Baron I want to stick with. I wouldn't mind zombie bros. I really wouldn't mind zombie bros. Does this... Alright, so this is good for me. This would give me... What Mistress of Sacrifice skill should we use for this? Should we just go with the, um, the movement speed one? Let's see. We have Bone Offering, Flesh Offering, and Spirit Offering. Spirit Offering's out. Flesh Offering, what gives us Onslaught on Super Speed, and Mistress of Sacrifice gives us Block Cap. So block cap for me and the zombies would just make us tanks. Like disgustingly good tanks. The attack speed would be incredible too because I'm playing an elemental build. <laughs> you see Oscar again? Oscar, why aren't you showing yourself on camera, dog? Come on. He's just hiding. He's just hiding his little face. Oscar, why are you so sad? Let's see. I'm, just, I'm doing this for you, YouTube. I'm doing this for you. This is my love for you, YouTube and Twitch. Just Oscar things. All right. Don Blow is indeed still bugged, so I'm glad we wasted 15 minutes on getting excited for nothing. <laughs> All right, Shaper's Touch out. Joffrey's out. BLS still very much in with Baron. Okay, so getting all these extra zombies is great. And what else does the Baron do? Let me educate myself further. With a thousand or more strength, two percent of damage dealt by your zombies is leached to his life. That is so good. Plus one number of zombies for three hundred strength, so we can get five additional. Uh, plus two minion gems, so that's four our zombies. Minions have twenty percent increased life. Your strength is added to your minions. Thing is so good. Yeah, we'll stay Necromancer. Okay, so I think my in terms of my tree, I'm set on damage and I'm set on spec. What's my life percent in this build? The moment 224. We could do this and then spec out of something else. Let's see if we can do that. And then that. And then that. So that's 119 points. Add 114 to this. So we're sitting at, that's pretty good, 528 strength from the tree and one jewel. Okay, let's see what this does for us now. 
Is there any other minion type gears that give strength that I can research? This is like the last minute stuff. Because right now, just Baron Brutus' Leadspringer is already expensive. Zoff's blood, like. Minion, Uniques, POE. Do we have new melee skills coming? Why last right? No, we're changing it up right now. Jean La Matric. I think I totally butchered your name. I'm trying to make a new BOS build. Who's whispering me? Basic is. Okay, what he said later. And then there's another person. Who? Oh, Mr. Lama. Cool. All right. Minion Uniques. Oh, there's a lot of them. Okay, those are all talisman. Helmet's already been taken. Flasks don't apply to you? No thanks. No, no. These make minions, but they don't have strength. No, Alberins we would use. Plus one number of skeletons. Huh. And we use Alberins Warpath. And our tree... Plus one to zombies, plus one to skeletons, plus one to skeletons, plus one to skeletons. Plus one to skeletons. I mean, this is something... Maybe? Do, do the skeletons actually do anything? Anyone who's played Summon Skeleton recently, is it even worth a damn? I know the mages are said to be decent, but for real, don't don't meme on me. Are they Are they actually pretty good? Yeah, Grip of the Council does have strength. I will give it that. Reduce movement speed, though? Yeah, about that. Mages are decent. Absolute dog trash. Skeletons are really shit. Their AI is terrible. <laughs> what the fuck? Absolute dog trash. I didn't know dogs can take rubbish and throw it inside of a trash container, but today I learned. They make dog trash. Skeletons are trash. Skeletons are really shit. Their AI is terrible. How do you even get mages? It's using the uh, threshold jewel. It's a jewel. The darks here are going to drop in mayhem or no? I don't think so. Okay. They're almost always something else from dust. Skeletal Warriors? What is that even? Uh, I guess we can use Violent Dead. Let's see. Minion damage with at least 40 in. Zombie Slam. Yeah, we'll get that. Uh, oh, Strength. Golem's skills at 25% chance of ton of hit. Socketed Golem skills at 5% regenerated per second. Plus 3 to level Socketed Golem gems. 40 Strength. 30% increased fire damage? Hey, that's not bad. That is really not bad for this build at all. I'm going minion type shit. We could put Stone Golem in there and just have him tank everything with me. And then he probably won't die because he's got all that extra stuff, all that minion life. I just resummon him. It's not bad. And I get fire damage for BLS and strength. It's honestly not bad. Um... These are all weapons, weapons. Okay. Red blend, red band blade. What is it? Red blade band. Let's see if it even exists. If it does, I'll. Okay. Alrighty now. Alright guys, this is like the moment of truth. I have to like re log in. Dun, 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 dun. We're gonna test trade. Why not use Path of Building? Why not use OS Buddy? Why not use every third party system available to you? As if you're not already on the wiki. Um, to answer your question there, Nika Mouse, I like your name. I don't use Path of Building because I'm set in my ways. I'm being stubborn ultimately. And because I don't want to. I like keeping it up here in my head. I like figuring it out for myself by just going through the wiki, using my, my offline calculator, and that's it. 
Like I'm very primitive in the way how I handle things like that and it works out well for me. So I don't mind it this way. Oh yeah, my, my HP went up now, it's 244%. It's pretty good, pretty good. It does exist. Sure. <laughs> yeah. No mantra goals grasp. We're using BLS, dude. We're using Brutus's lead sprinkler. Magnet is 50 strength, 25 all res. A heavy belt can be upwards, let's see, 35 base, 55. So that's 95 strength. It can have wet and life and res. So that is the best for this. Um, my, my biggest problem and complaint with the path of building, even though I've never been there, is how it changes the whole DPS based off of penetration and other things like that. You guys can't see, but I'm petting a black cat. If you look really closely, there's a black cat on me. He just blends in with my OG Path of Exile t-shirt. See? Welcome to the secret order of the Moogs, everyone. This ninja has blessed you with his presence. Haven't you, Mowgli? Mowgli, do you have anything you'd like to say? Mowgli? Secret kitty cat. He's also a hooker. He changes his hook back and forth from left to right. Watch, here it comes. Oh, never mind. He's just going to make himself comfortable on me. Hello. Uh, 2C, okay. Let's see what this guy says. Nobody's kneading my stomach, and you guys can't see it. But it, Okay, claws, claws. Paws, not claws, Mowgli. Paws, not claws. Can you clean Oscar? He looks a little dirty. Let's see what Mowgli does here. Mowgli. Oh. Psst, psst. Can't really see him. All right, back to Oscar Cam. I did, I did message him. Okay, Mowgli, lay down. Hala. And back to the lap. Everyone wants to lay on daddy's lap. Well, first he wants to knead me like this, like 80 times, to make sure my stomach is comfortable for him. Hey, do you know the real pers reason why white people exist? The real reason why white people exist is so that you could see black cats when they take off their shirts. See? You could see Mowgli now. Look, everyone. It's Mowgli. You thought I was going to make this about something else. Hell no. Black cats. All right, Mowgli, you need to go. Lay down. Lay down. Okay, so we're going to stay here with our shirt off and pet our black cat. Oh, JK. He's like, you took your shirt off. I'm out. You're not comfortable anymore. Now it's all caught up in my web of headphones. Please sell me this item. Please sell me this item. Oh. Why is it caught? What? How does that even happen? <laughs> you can't ban me, dude. It's against terms of service. JK, they, re they took that one off. I guess it was like the yin and yank balance on Twitch for all the girls showing their stuff. We'll just say stuff. That's a big one. Hello. Nice to meet you. My name is Karpala. I'm here for your... Please, give me your ring. Rule is dead. You can completely take your shirt off. It's still a YouTube video. This is going to be a long one. Please, I just want your ring. All right, back to YouTube. All right, I think the build's done. Is there any other uniques I could throw in here while we wait for this guy? I can't believe this red blade band might actually work. No weapons. Uh, oh, selfless leadership. It's interesting. Unrelenting hunger. Minions have increased area of effect with at least 40 radius. Ray specters have a 50% chance of soul leader for 30 seconds. That's interesting. Dead reckoning with at least 40 radius summon skeleton can summon up to five skeletal mages. Minion dodge and speed. 10% minion speed is not bad. But I'd rather have a strength jewel, honestly. 
Oh, the primordials. So Baron, this is okay because it does give strength, but I don't want reduced minion speed and I'd rather sacrifice. I'd rather get my own gloves. So Alberin's Warpath, Baron, and then this ring will be my Delios with Brutus's Lead Sprinkler. Pretty good. All right, I think that's it, YouTube. I hope you enjoyed my really odd broadcast. So this is a Brutus's Lead Sprinkler Necromancer using the Baron. Brutus's Lead Sprinkler gives us a bunch of fire damage for stacking strength. The Baron will juice up all of our zombies, and we get extra zombies for stacking strength. And then the Red Blade Band, which is way down here, right here, um, will juice up our golem. It gives us strength and fire damage and life, so it fits the theme well. And we can actually have a golem tank for us, too, as a minion spec. I never thought this ring I'd be using in a build, but hey, not bad. Thanks for tuning in, YouTube. Much love and respect. I'm out.